Indy residents are one step closer to having stricter rules in place to crack down on short term rentals. WRTV's Amber Grigley shows us why some are grateful for the action. 50 years, over 50 years in that one house. Michael Trout has called Lexington Avenue and Fountain Square home for most of his life. That's what I'm saying. I was out there at 6 o'clock in the morning sweeping up glass, was busting booze bottles and out there fighting and stuff. That ain't right. He tells me recently he noticed a change in the neighborhood. Something needs to be done about these Airbnbs because it's getting out of hand. Big time. Trout says roughly six nearby homes have turned into Airbnbs within the last three years. That ain't right. That's just too many people partying. And when you mix drugs with booze, you're going to have a problem. A problem Indianapolis City County Council is trying to get ahead of. It's not about taking rights away. Many, many of these Airbnbs are owned by out of state, non existent landlords who don't respond. Councilor Kristen Jones says this is a quality of life issue, not allowing an appropriate balance between landlords, residents, and visitors. Protecting my investment in my neighborhood is important to me, but I totally propose that this proposal should be um, voted for. The ordinance will require landlords of Airbnbs and short term rentals to properly register properties as such to receive annual permits and inspections. And that's all that we're asking for tonight so that when there's an issue that our neighbors and our constituents can find that person to call. So IMPD doesn't spend three to five hours looking for the person who's responsible. The weekend of July 6th, I heard four shots go off. I called 911, I looked out my window. I got to see my first person get shot. There are a lot of pieces to the ordinance um, as far as like what we request, the, the three strikes you're out rule, things like that, that were mandated by the state. This ordinance is essentially uh, written within the shell of what we are allowed to do based on state statute related to short term rentals. We thought it was fireworks going off. <laughs> it wasn't fireworks, it was gunshots. They had a big shootout down there. An annoyance Trout says he hopes this ordinance can fix so he can get back to his peace and quiet. Well, if the landlords put rules down, it wouldn't be a problem, but there's no rules. You know, they just go in there, 10, 15, 20, 30 of them party all night long. That ain't good for the neighbors. I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. On Monday night, the Metropolitan and Economic Development Committee voted to send the ordinance to the full city county council with a due pass recommendation. They added an, am an amendment that would also apply to tiny homes and container homes on properties.